So this is a moment where our forecasting tools are lagging behind the forecasting challenges that we have. And I think you're going to see over the next five years the emergence of whole new classes of tools that are not just quantitatively powerful, but qualitatively powerful. It's what people used to call predicting, that you know, strictly speaking, prediction is not possible, but these tools are going to be good enough that under the right circumstances, we really will be able to understand the outcomes of things. And if we use them in the right way, these will be tools that will allow us to make better policy decisions. But it really represents a convergence of four factors. The steady advance of processors along the curve of Moore's Law, the appearance of ever better algorithms, the arrival of sensor data from the ubiquitous sensors that are sucking up information about the analog world. And last but not least, the fact that so many millions of people are spending so much more of their time in cyberspace. And all of that data about their activity and preferences and interests is all there to be examined by machines. Mix that together and it's, we're in for some pretty potent surprises. What about social media models you know, disrupting that view? Well, of course, inevitably, what you know, Harry Harrison, the science fiction writer in his series of Stainless Steel Rat, put it very nicely. He said, well, when society becomes stainless steel, the rats become stainless steel as well. And so society and technology will continue doing what they've always done, which is chase each other into the future.